Let's build our own web browser using ChatGPT. First go to ChatGPT and then type, build a web browser using Python and QTPY and press enter. Now ChatGPT is saying that we need Python installed and also we need to install some modules like QTPY, QT Web Engine. And I have already installed it on my computer. You can install it using the pip command. And now our code is ready. Let's copy this code and paste it in our browser.py file. Now save this file and then run this using command python browser.py. And in a few seconds our own private browser window will open. Here it is. Look at this guys, our own private browser. Let's maximize the window. This is a simple browser with 100% privacy. No one can steal our usage statistics. Let's try searching Python. And this is a response from Google. Let's click on the first link, python.org, which is the official website of Python. We can also resize the window. But we are missing something. We don't have a button to go back and forward. Also, we don't have a URL search bar. Let's ask ChatGPT to modify our code. Just type add some basic functionality like go back and go forward button in URL bar. And now ChatGPT is modifying our code and it will be ready in a few seconds. Okay then. Our code is ready. Let's copy this code and paste it in our browser.py file. Now save this file and then run this using command python browser.py. Now this is a new version of our browser with these buttons and search bar. Let's search for OpenAI. Now click on the first link and this is the official website of OpenAI. Let's click on the back button and boom, we are on the previous page. Let's click on the forward button and we are back to OpenAI website. Just like any other browser, these buttons are working fine. Let's try searching in search bar.